But what I'm looking for, and I see an old barn or something right there, what I'm looking for is a Kegler. I think it was Captain Kegler. I could be wrong. Anyway, he uh, fought in the War of 1812, and he's laid to rest out here somewhere in these woods in southwest Georgia. So let's go look and see if we can find him. Here's an old barn. Pretty sure it could be a house. That could be a house. I wonder if that's his old house. What do you call that siding right there? Lap siding? We're going to go back through here and see if we can get through these thick woods. Yeah, it's sort of tough up in here. Poison ivy and everything else that I hate. Now I know I'm here. Poison ivy. Robert knows I'm allergic to it. That's why he sent me here. The guy said to go to the edge of the field and go in. But I don't see a road in there. I just see some thick woods. Might be a wild goose chase again, y'all. Might be a wild goose chase. Or we may be in the wrong place. Yeah, I think we're in the wrong place. I see some big trees down here. I'm gonna walk down this way and go in. Might be in the wrong place. The wrong time. Now, I'm gonna have to get in there somewhere. Gotta be a cut somewhere. Sure looks thick in there, doesn't it? I bet that's it. I bet that's it right there. We're gonna just try and go on in here. Sorry, it's all there is to it. Grandpa always said, get on in there, boy. What we're in, but we're gonna find out for some reason. Well, they've been at the wrong place. The only thing I can think of is I'm at the wrong place, but we're gonna keep looking. It ain't over there. Get lost out here in the woods in the dark, that'd be bad, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Fall off in one of them open wells. That'd be bad too, wouldn't it? Look at what's waiting on me. Them old sticker briars. Remember them things? Take care of you, wanna? I got you out of the way. Wouldn't that be something I come out to a driveway that goes right to it? All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna regroup and look at my GPS and my map and see what I got. Okay, it wasn't in there. I'm wondering, either A, is it in there? Or B, is it back around this corner here? So we're gonna go around the corner and look. Fire ants. The road's right there. That's where I parked the car. Let's look up in here and see. This is the back side of that building we saw when we came in. There's that building over there. So it ain't here. It's behind me. It's behind me. So there's that big barn. It's got to be behind me. Yeah. Okay. We're going across that field. Oh boy. What a walk. Well, maybe we're on a wild goose chase. You know what? Maybe we on a wild goose chase. Again, I want to check them trees out right over there. I want to go this way. Well, look at what we found right here. Not as many big trees around here as I would think for something that's from the mid to late 1800s. We're going to, get, we're going to work our way over there as soon as we get to cutting going here. I'm gonna cut a path up in there. I see it from here. And it's just what that man described. He described it to us. We ran into a fella that was raised up around here. 
he told us about where it was at. He tried to give me just directions on the back of a brown paper bag. And uh, him and his wife told me, told me about it and told me that the man had fought in the War of 1812. I think he might have been an officer in, his, in later on in life in the militia, but I don't know that for sure. And he had a lot of sons, and most of his sons fought in the Civil War. I don't know their demise, but we fixed to find out right now. We fixed to go in there and take a look at this real quick. We look here, outside the first one to come to the outside the grave right here. Uh, you better hit someone to put down. This is A B K. Kegler was the name. Let me make that up here. It's dark. It's dark right now. Let me put a flashlight on it. I don't know if I can put a flashlight on it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the flashlight on. You see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me cut this back right here. Now, this here looks like a military marker. Let's see who this is. Okay. Got the, can, can your camera pick that up? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Wooten S Company. E, e. F. E. F. Kegler, Wooten's Company, 15th Georgia Cavalry CSA. Wow. Hey, what let's do. I'm going to take the camera here. It shows up pretty good. Oh, That's a tall stone right there. There's some names down there on that. Mark her down there and you see the, oh, look at this right here, would you? Yeah. This is recent. That is not that old. Maybe that was Easter of last year. Uh, Maybe a year or two. Or Christmas? Yeah, maybe a year or two. Look at this fence. Oh, I'm trying that way. I think it's been cleaned up before. It doesn't look overgrown enough to be, to be an old undergrowth, you know what I mean? I think it's trying to get to the tree. Except for the here. tree falling on it? Well, that tree is. It's not that old, though. I don't think. Yeah. All right, now. We've got this camera. Let's move the camera over this way. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, someone has been here recently. That's a modern. Uh, do I just touch it? Look at that. I know. They're coming apart. Yeah. Be Mine careful with it. You can't But it's really them. neat. It's really neat metal work. And look, someone is decorated for Christmas for, uh, Easter and for occasions, many occasions here. So Kegler is not a name that I have heard. I knew one Kegler and that was back in the 60s. I went to school with a Kegler down in Columbus. And... I've never heard that many tents. Here's the gate. We're going to turn around to the gate now. Let's see if we can get a good view of the gate right here. All right, here's the gate. D. Kegler, 1860. 80, isn't it? 1860. Is it? Yep. 6 You're right, it is. Wow. So let's see if the gate... Well, let's not break it. No, we're not. We're... Let me get right there and look at the mechanism on that gate. We always like to look at the mechanisms too. It Ooh, is. It's leaning to the side. Yeah. Here's the, there's the latch. No, I mean the, the big thing. Yeah, it the is, obelisk it is falling. Fall. Uh, it's not going to fall yet. But look at it. It is leaning. It's way. been twisted too, see? Something yeah. hit it, a tree hit it. I think it's this tree growing okay. into it. What does it say up there? Our father maybe? Our faithful. Take a picture of it and we'll be able to read David it. Kegler, born November the 19th, 1788, died December the 19th, 1858, A.E. 70 years and one month. 1858, so that's before the Civil War. Now that's a modern stone right there. So it was redone. So someone, a relative's probably been out here. I'm not going to open the gate. Because I don't want to booger it up, but... Ooh, right yeah. Mm. Probably someone laid the rest right there, too. Now, but this is not I'm going to have to get in there. Because i got to clean that 
Got to clean it off. So I'm stepping my foot over, y'all. Uh, I'm getting over in there. I'm in there. Oh, I'm in there. I want to get that. I might have ripped my pants, yes. Ooh, there's one on this side, too. Our Father. That's what it says. You can see how the stone's been twisted probably with a tree or something at one time it hit. And there's a little, little bit to the right. I want to see what's on the other side before I clean that off. I'm looking for a mark from a stonemason or something like that. Like it, it won't follow us, I don't think. I mean, we've been doing this quite a bit. And I see no markings for stonemasons or nothing like that. So let's clean this one off here first. Let's get this one clean. So we're going to wipe it up real quick. Nice. Right, I got my gloves on. Brought my gloves. Hand me them clippers, the little small clippers. Yeah, I think someone's come in here. Family members, survivors, distant relatives. Oh, this is modern. Dog. Let's see if we can read that. Son of. Oh, he's related to him, the guy you talked to. Yeah, the man that told us about this. Jonathan Nathan and Elizabeth Giles, born 1821, Jefferson County, Georgia. Died, died 1862. Terrell Go County, ahead. Georgia. First husband. Of Anna E. B. Kegler, 1832 mm -hmm. to 1909. Now, they're probably laid to rest out here somewhere. Possibility. Yeah, they're probably laid to rest out here somewhere. Probably. Because there's no way you could put them all in here. So I'm going to the other side now. Yeah. And this is a longer one, so this must be more. Oh, yeah. Two of them. <clears throat> we'll go from right to left. Eldred Franklin Kegler, son of David Kegler and Anna Barbara Kraps, C-R-A-P-S. Born October 11th, 1825. Lexington County, South Carolina, died July the 1st, 1904, Terrell County, Georgia. And we are in Terrell County, right on the edge of the line, though, here in southwest Georgia. Anna Barbara Kraps, wife of David Kegler, born April the 8th, 1796, Lexington County, South Carolina, died May the 8th, 1864, Terrell County, Georgia. Now... Came all the way from South Carolina, came down to Terrell County to farm and to run a plantation. Probably had money when they left South Carolina and don't know when they got here. Might have came here with a land lottery or they might have came after the land lottery. Right after the, I'm going to say it was, uh, I could be wrong, but approximately eight to 10 years after the land lottery a lot of the farmers that first came left went further west went to alabama texas and they sold their land because the land was already cleared out and ready for farming and other farmers came along and uh, bought the land so i don't know if this family came in 1827 or 10 years later in the 30s. I don't, I really don't know. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and cut this out of here. Cause it's sort of shading it out here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this down. Oh boy. I'm getting too old for this. I don't see why Robert doesn't come down here and do this stuff. I wonder why he doesn't come and do all this hard work. He's too busy. Because he's, he's got you for that. <laughs> he's got sucker. It's in the contract, that's why. <laughs> It's in the contract. That You're hard labor, man. Oh, oh, much better. Yes. Much I'm better. Over out the way. Wow, you can see it. Yeah. See if you can get that other little one. Where's it at? Oh, yeah, okay. Can you reach it? I sure can. Do well, don't, uh, 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 don't step on. Uh. Uh, it's good. It's good. I know what I'm doing. I've done this. this pull it, pull it, Do pull not it. try this at home. I am a professional. Okay. <laughs> That's a joke. Famous last words. Famous last words. It's gonna flip up now and hit it. Now you need to get back. Oh, okay. Looks well, a lot better. Now it you does. can really see. Let me clip these right here and then I want you to do a pan, a pan around this little area right here. I mean, I don't see anything else. Well, there's people buried out there. You think? I'm, yeah, I know there are. So what, they're not all buried here. They gotta be buried out there somewhere in unmarked graves. You think? Yes, I think so. Just that one little. 
one down oh, there. I'm going out the gate. The gate open still. 100 and what years? Uh, 1860. Wow. And this gate is still, look. Works still pretty working. good. It's a little out of. Uh, look at this. Look there. at this tree that fell on yeah. it. And is, I thought we'd move it, but you know what? This thing is. Now we're not solid. Solid. This tree, solid. This tree, this tree here. This so thing is still a, solid. So. But I tell you what, we are gonna do. We're gonna get the camera and we're gonna scout around a little bit more before we. Get look at the holes in the tree. That's cool. Yeah. We should look in there. All right. Let me go look. Yeah. I'm gonna look real quick. Uh, and we'll scout around for some more. Really a whole cemetery. Family. Family's buried here. And we, yeah, it is. I'll be right back. I'm just scanning around here looking for anything else. It's getting dark and I don't know how to get out of here. Uh, that way. Yeah. That's the way out because there's a sun setting. Yeah, so we're going that way. Okay. Take a shot of this. I'm going to come right back around there and get it. So this is interesting and I found it. And that's the good thing about it. I know very little about the Kegler family. But I will find something out because I'm going to do a little more research, maybe, if Robert will let me. And uh, we're probably going to come back because I think there could be more people buried out there. But like I said, I don't see any more markers and it's almost dark. And according to my contract, I have to knock off 30 minutes before sundown. Yeah. So, so we're, we're about to I will late. see you either later on in this video or on another one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Wait a minute. Like share subscribe tell your friends about it and uh last a little bit of sun oh uh, and there's something else i was supposed to say oh help me out on my contract because i'm fixing to renegotiate that thing july 1. all right okay see ya great place for a hidden note